Hey, it's Mila. Welcome back to my channel. Bring out Briar University hockey hoodie. That means that this just like unfocused my face and focused on my hands when I clap. In this video, we'll be reading this entire series. I can't tell if the glare is like weird or not, but yeah. So I just want to point out to book one, the deal and book two, the mistake. I did read back in, I say that as if it's like such a long time ago. It's not like last fall. So this video was going to be starting off while we read the score. As you can tell, I'm like filming after like editing and everything this entire video. I'm just like doing the intro now. So first book we're going to be doing is the square. The second book, the goal. And then book three, the legacy. The only reason why I waited so long to film the intro is because I wanted to show you guys this hoodie. Oh my god, I almost like slipped off my chair. This hoodie, like briar. Yeah, I don't mind the PJ shorts. This look is like disgusting. But like here's the hoodie. This is what the back says. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so it's Garrett's thing i'll link the etsy store in the description bar down below but yeah basically i wanted to like wait on filming the intro just to wear this while i'm filming it um yeah so all my socials are linked down below my instagram my tiktok my gary's definitely go follow me um i'll also be linking my true crime channel because i was gonna say playlist but no now we're doing channels because i started my true crime channel like just to not mix up like my lifestyle ecology concepts from like my main channel with like my true crime and yeah so once you go check all that out follow subscribe everywhere subscribe to this channel leave a thumbs up if you want more like reading vlog type things i was considering mixing um briar you and the off campus but then when i was editing i was like yeah there's no way that i can mix like briar with this so next video that we're gonna be like doing this type of thing either it's the bores five star reads because i'm like reading a few of those to make that video or reading briar you i'm not exactly sure because i'm like mixing those two like mixing them in, in my reading pattern type thing so i don't know which, which one's going to come first but i figured like let's try to do one of these like every single month that's the plan we'll see if it happens but um yeah so without further ado Let's jump in. We're going to see all of my thoughts, all of my reactions. Um, you're going to see what this is. This was like so important that I tapped it at the top of the book. So I was like, I need to know exactly where this is. Is this like very spoilery? I mean, obviously, if you haven't read these yet and you plan to read them, probably shouldn't be watching this video. But if you don't plan to read them or if you've already read them, then that can be fun because I honestly don't remember if I give too much away. I feel like it's not very spoilery. Besides maybe like one, two little parts. I'd recommend if you haven't read them and you want to read them, pause this video. I mean like put this video aside, go read them, then come back. Or if not, sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack. This is going to be a long one. And let's get into reading the, I was going to say Briar You because I was reading my sweatshirts. The Off Campus series. Yeah. Okay. I am. Oh, oh, oh. okay. 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 I started this and oh my god I'm like four chapters in maybe like uh I'd say like nine eight percent I don't know I already have four tabs like I forgot how much these books made me laugh like just like bursting out in laughter I uh I'm, I'm so happy I've like I finally decided to order book three and to get it um but yeah I was like laughing so much and just I honestly teared up <laughs> like I'm gonna do my like little skincare before my class because I literally have class in like five minutes. I like literally teared up when Garrett called Hannah Wolsey and I was like, oh my god, I love these characters so 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 much. So yeah, there you have it. Um I literally cried and like chapter no teared up in chapter one and I like laughed my ass off and like the text convos between the guys, I just oh my god, like the the dynamic between the guys i love that so much i missed that so much and one thing that i was kind of like i wasn't expecting was like i didn't think that because well okay i knew that dina and ali would have like hooked up but i didn't think it would have happened in the first like 30 pages because i'm like only 30 pages in 
I thought that it was gonna take like a little while until they hook up apparently not but it's like when Dean see like okay Dean obviously he's like joking around about it right but then when he sees how like thing Ali is he becomes like super like concerned and stuff and I'm like ugh Dean De Laurentiis I don't know how Dean is gonna be but like no one beats Garrett freaking Graham no one so yeah I'm, I'm not sure when I'll update you guys next maybe 50% mark like I'm not gonna go out of my way to update you guys if it's like midnight if I'm reading like between classes I'm not gonna be like okay I have to stop now so I like update you on exactly the mark but I'll probably update you three times per book um yeah what time is it I need to go to class so I'll catch you guys later when I reach like the 50-ish percent mark look what just came in the mail so I was making myself carrots for lunch because I have class like right now but I was like we got a few of the books I don't have anything to cut it with so violence it is I got a few of the oh my god the first two briar books and the last off-campus one I'm so excited. I am so I'll bring you guys lower. So we have the risk. Which whose book is this about? Oh, this is the one where it talks about the hockey coach's daughter, unlike the player from the rival team. This one I'm like, I'm really excited to get to this one. We have well that's book two. We have book one, The Chase which talks about dean's sister and i'm reading dean's book so i'm like ah and who's the guy in this one it's fitzy fitzy is the guy in this one and then this literally came out like yesterday i can't i can't so i literally have all of the off-campus series books i'm gonna bring them all because i'm like super super excited okay the deal the mistake i think my voice is something weird the score the goal and and the legacy yeah um, <laughs> i'm gonna go back to class and back to reading i just i want to read all of these but i still have some like fantasy that i want to finish when it's winter so i'm like i cannot only just binge this entire series also, I realize now that probably either this hour, this video is going to be like over an hour long or I might like break up um, the off-campus and the Briar U into two separate videos and just like publish the Briar U like a week after I publish the off-campus one. Because off-campus I have to read three books, Briar U it's four books. So depending on how long the video is, I might separate it into two so we will see oh okay it's like okay it's like a couple of like short stories like each couple has their own like short story okay um i have class to get to so i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna update you guys when i get to the 50 percent mark of the square oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited um so <laughs> this is what i'm gonna put you down so i can figure out what chapter this is okay this is like chapter five and uh let me like focus on my face again okay so like garrett asks like oh like do angels even get laid all right and then i just got a call but i'm like i'm kind of ignoring it and then dean's just like where do you think rainbows come from whenever you see a rainbow that means an angel just came i was like in my bed like dying of laughter for the past five minutes and i was like i just oh i, I love these i love I, I can't i can't so i need to get this call but <laughs> i was literally dying of laughter i'm like just the the, the the things that these guys say in these books like whenever the pop changes to one of the guys like in um in the deal and like in the mistake whenever it changed to like logan's pop or to like garrett's pop there was always like something so funny that one of the guys said that i'm just like oh my god like you are literally like laughing out loud but yeah um <laughs> i wanted to tell you guys that because i just I, I can't i can't okay so honestly like screw updating whenever 
I reached like a certain mark I was like I'll just update you like whenever the hell I decide to update you so I'm at like the 30% mark and um this is what I read last night so it's not like fresh 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 but like it's fresh-ish so you have Dean's like high school hockey coach yeah his high school hockey coach who comes to Briar for I'm not sure like it's a defense type of thing right and we find out that he I'm pretty sure he like slept with his old coach's daughter so there's like a whole beef about that and I'm just like Dean like we find out that about him we find out that he hooked up with this girl called Sabrina I I doubt it's the same Sabrina as book four because or else that would be like weird ish kind of um yeah we found out he hooked up with a girl called Sabrina and he forgot if he hooked up with her then we find out that he was he also had a thing for his daughter's coach for his daughter's coach for his coach's daughter and I'm just like Dean <laughs> Dean plus also we were delivered some amazing comedy let me just like I should have put you guys on a tripod but I'm like holding you up on my hand um yeah we have a lot of things that are tabbed yeah so like that thing happens then there is a game that goes on and they lose the game so some of them go to the bar to drink because the guys don't want them in their house am i looking at the correct place i don't know if i'm looking at the correct place um but then dean he's like okay you know what like you guys go do your own thing i'll join you guys later and he ends up going to Allie's, and they watch this like french like soap opera what's it called it's called solange i think but yeah it's this like soap opera and okay so like Ali's like I want to watch this to like learn French right and Dean's like like no like we're not doing this again because they like at the beginning of the book they started off like watching some like not a documentary but like a depressing movie and Dean was like fuck no so again he was like we're not doing this but then and then Ali says I know I, I say sheepishly she oh my god I, I say sheepishly but it's addictive. Trust me, one episode of this crap and you'll be hooked. After Dean replies, sorry baby at all, but I can pretty much guarantee that's not gonna happen. Then it changes to Dean's pop and it's just like, it happened. God help me, I'm into this show. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like Anna, it's just like cute moments like this. And I'm like, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Oh my God, I just remembered. <laughs> so th- I-, I don't remember how this whole Twilight thing comes up, okay, but I don't remember how this whole Twilight thing comes up, but you have um, Dean with Bo Maxwell, right? Bo Maxwell, like a football player, football player, and they're at a bar, like they're talking, right? And then Dean just talks about how he's like comparing himself to Edward and he's like, oh, like Allie is basically Bella, like, because like Bella looks something in her blood that makes Edward go like, oh my god. Are you guys shaking? I feel like I'm losing feeling in my arm. <laughs> but um, yeah, so he compares himself to Edward and he's like, okay, like Ali has something that I absolutely need to survive. Let me put you guys down somewhere so I can read to you because it's going to be too hard if I'm not like sitting down. Ignore the mess. <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. So you have Dean. Hey, you know Twilight? And after like Bo, he blinks, excuse me? Twilight, the vampire book. His wary eyes study my face. What about it? Okay, so you know how Bella's blood is extra special? Like, how it gives Edward a raging boner every time he's around her? And after Bella's like, are you fucking with me right now? And then Dean just goes on to, like, explain it, right? Um, and after Dean is like, goddamn Twilight, Edward wants her on a biological level, right? And after Bo is like, are you seriously dissecting Twilight right now? After Dean is like, god I am, and I find that so funny. But then it gets better, so Bo eyes me thoughtfully. You know, I don't think we're dealing with a Bella's magical blood situation here. No? No. I think you've imprinted on this girl's pussy, and then they go into a whole, like, thing on how he's like jacob he's not edward and i find that so funny how like they brought up twilight in this and like just i don't know i i just, i love this so much and i'm only like 30 percent in um yeah so i was like you know what it's like screw updating and like specific mice i'm gonna update you whenever the fuck i want to update you but yeah uh yes yeah, so there's that um i should probably clean my room i know it's an absolute mess i just got back from work and like school 
because I did study like at my work so I'm like I don't do any of my schoolwork. I'll probably read for the rest of the night I'm not gonna update you because like ironically whenever I read something so funny and I'm like dying of laughter it's like past midnight so I'm like okay I'm not gonna get out of bed to like pull out a camera but yeah I'll probably update every single day so I'll see you tomorrow when I feel like I feel like I can reach the 60% mark and then I can finish this tomorrow so we'll see what happens but where do we leave off we left off at chapter 10 like after Dean comes to watch the soap opera with Ali and then like he kind of like wants to hook up with her but she's like she doesn't even entertain the idea of it she like kicks him out and yeah that's where we're at now we're gonna see what happens and um yeah see you guys tomorrow okay um i like just finished filming another video so i was like might as well come and update you guys on the score we have my ring light right here i just like pointed it to the camera because i feel like it looks better if my ring light is pointed towards us so um yeah we have my ring light um okay i got to 75 percent and we have a lot to talk about since the last time i updated you guys if you've read this what was that if you've read this i just have one word for you winston winston if you know you know and like the scene where logan like who gets into the bathroom and i just i have to i marked it down at the top here because i was like i need to know what this page is so <laughs> you have logan that walks into the bathroom his gaze bounces around the bathroom like a rubber ball he looks at the towel rack where his cargo pants are hanging he looks at the bathtub where i'm lounging like cleo fucking patra he looks at the bubbles surrounding my body like a fluffy white cloud and then he looks at winston and then dean is just like dude it's not what it looks like and after logan is just like nope 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 i don't want to know <laughs> and then wait this is only um okay yeah and, and then because yeah i don't know what he had to get but nafri says hey listen i'm gonna stay with gracie tonight that way you can um finish whatever it is you're uh, doing then when like when logan leaves and um like dean talks with ali he's like you officially allowed my best friend to believe i like to shove dolos up my ass and i was like i read like this scene at like 2 a.m i was crying i was like i would have full-on like reached out to get my camera to film it but my camera was like the other side of my room and i was like it's 2 a.m i don't want to get out of bed i was literally in tears because of how much i was laughing that was like the funniest thing ever also the hurricanes the hurricanes like robbie and his sister they're so cute and it's so cute how Nina like love is like training them and stuff and i'm like that's so so cute i love it i love the hurricanes they're adorable i can't winston <laughs> And like the funny thing is that his friends were like just <laughs> I'm just like imagining this scene. It's like, oh my god. I don't know, but like Logan and Garrett, I, I don't know if it was Tucker also, but they're all like teasing him. Grace like cannot like look him in the eye without like laughing or like Hannah, I'm not sure which one it was, but that's so funny. Like I, I, I was crying. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. Um but yeah, I got to the part where sheen come sheen that's how i pronounce it yeah sheen oh my god when he comes to ali's dorm and then he like goes off on her i'm like yo like thank like i understand why she wanted to like let him in because he was like causing a scene or whatever but i'm like a girl like you don't let someone in like that like thank god like garrett was there to like get him out but i'm like the things that he said to her absolutely disgusting so yeah i got to like that part then like uh uh then like hannah and garrett found out about dean and ali and then like the next morning because dean like stays over that night and i find it so funny how like the next morning when he comes to the kitchen um you have like okay so like hannah and ali have these like matching mugs um there's one that says ali's best like ali's bff and you have another one that says like han han's bff and i find it like so funny because when dean comes like to the kitchen he sees like like hannah holding the mug saying ali's bff and you have like garrett next to her holding the mug saying han han's bff i don't know like, i found that pretty funny but yeah i reached like the 70 percent mark 
we got to the part where Garrett and Hannah find out about Ali and Dean. So I have less than 100 pages, maybe like 70 pages left. So I don't know if I'm going to finish this today because I have class literally in one minute. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to update you guys today or like tomorrow, but five stars. Like I'm not even done with five stars because this book, I love this book so much. Like, I didn't think I would like it that much because it was like surrounding a hookup, but surprisingly they didn't like have sex as many times as I thought they would have. So it was actually really, really enjoyable and it wasn't like annoying to read, you know, because it's, it's like, it's not that I don't necessarily like unlike reading like smuttier scenes. It's just like sometimes it just like takes away from the story for me because it's not what I'm into. But over here, it worked perfectly fine. There was less than I expected. So I'm like really happy about that. And oh my God, Winston, like I honestly, I can never look at someone called Winston the same way ever again because of dean and logan because of that dean and logan scene but um yeah i'm gonna go to class and we'll see if i update you guys tonight or tomorrow but yeah oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god i love this book i love this book so 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 much hi um you can see my lights i want to move it i literally just got back from the gym it's so freaking cold outside Oh my god. But yeah, so I wanted to chat about um what I read. Where's my book? I don't know where it is right now, but I finished the score. Do I like Allie and Dean more than Hannah and Garrett? Debatable. Like, that's how much I liked book three. But it's just, oh my god, there was something that was so, like, not necessary. It's just, it literally came out of nowhere. It was so not necessary. And I'm like, Ellie Kennedy, why would you do this to me? But um, I don't want to tell you. But like, something bad happens. Just like, oh my, I was crying. Like, I didn't expect to ugly cry. When I read this, it's literally like, what? Like three chapters before the end? And I'm like, my, no, <laughs> no, you can't do this. I'm still like in shock. Because I'm like, <clears throat> there was literally no points to do this but you did this but i still love the book like absolutely amazing then i started the goal which is tucker and sabrina's book last night and i actually really like it because um i mean i don't know if this is a spoiler or not because like you know what's gonna happen in book four um well yeah i mean i don't think it's a spoiler because you know what's gonna happen when you like read the back of the book but um basically book three like the final scene is like tucker like running into the living room i think it's like only ali and dean in like the living room and he tells them that he's about to, he like he's gonna have the baby with sabrina and basically i'd say book three is like i it's it starts like the fall semester of their senior year and it goes until like january i think yeah i think we find out that tucker's gonna have a kid in january then book four it like goes back in time and and i mean i'm only like three chapters in but you can like see like scenes that happen in book three like but they were in like dean's pop and like tucker's pop and i found it like really cool because i was like oh my god like that happened and like tucker thinks one thing or like tucker thinks that dean doesn't know this but like you but like you know what like dean think in this scene and you know what like uh tucker thinks in this scene and i found it like really cool but then you know how i said there was like something really really tragic and completely like not necessary but that had me like ugly crying in book three yeah book three okay because that thing happens at the end of book three but since you go back in time these people don't know that that thing is gonna happen and like oh my god like i literally read when they were like talking to the person that this bad thing happens to like they mentioned this person's name and i literally started crying like, I literally started ugly crying because I was like, bro, you don't know what's going to happen to him. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I am. I'm like three chapters into the goal. Yeah, the goal. Um, Yeah, just, oh my god. I have like midterms, so I don't know how fast I'm going to be reading. But yeah, I was thinking I think this video that's going to be going up will be the off-campus series because I have to read like three books anyway, you know, like book three, four, and the epilogue, book five. Then I'm probably gonna release a video the week after this for the off for the Briar U series. I have all the books. 
um i just have like a lot going on school wise um plus i joined a like sorority also so there's a lot of like time commitment things like for some reason someone allowed me to take 17 credits who let me do that i don't know but i'm taking five classes basically 17 credits like 16.75 then i have my like sorority things there's a lot going on <laughs> but yeah um hopefully this will be out the first thursday or maybe the second depending on how long it takes me to finish and then the thursday after we're gonna do the briar you series but yeah oh i'm gonna go shower eat get ready for classes because i have classes today but gym's just open so it's like i have to go to the gym yeah what is this yeah um talk to you guys later not me filming thinking that it's recording and it's like not even recording but um yeah so it's been a hot minute since i updated this video yeah yeah since i updated you guys on what i'm reading because i just like i haven't picked up this book in a while because like life got like messy and whatever but we're back we're 40 percent through and you remember how i said that in the the score we talked about winston right and the scene where like logan like finds like finds winston right they mention this in this book like tucker basically gets like the group text where they're like teasing dean about winston and i was like oh my god that happened i completely forgot that it happened and i'm like oh my god like i love i i completely forgot that it happened but that was like super super fun to read about um and we also have like sabrina and tucker's relationship started off as like a hookup thing but they finally went on their first date and it was something it was like a naked painting type thing and like it was just absolutely iconic like so so funny and like just weird and like you you would you wouldn't see this like i don't know if they actually do these type of things but i'm like that's a that's a memorable like first date also fitzy it was like a double date between her tucker fitzy and then one of her friends and i'm like like they they describe fitzy it's so, like we actually have a full description of fitzy and oh my god fitzy is incredibly appealing he's got messy dark hair that you just want to run your fingers through and those tats yum he's wearing a t-shirt that reveals two full sleeves of intricate designs and a lot of fans and uh and a lot of fantasy type imagery i make out several dragons and at least one sword and there's ink peeking out of the collar of his shirt too and i'm like that's just so hot like am i into tattoos in real life no i hate them literally i hate them in real life but fitzy like fitzy fitzy is like nerdy but like he's nerdy he's smart he plays hockey he has just oh my god fitzy it's like i can't wait until i can read the chase which is the book that talks about fitzy and i'm just like just oh like i love summer i love fitzy i can't wait to read about them together but yeah honestly when this book started off i wasn't like a huge fan but i definitely got re-sucked into the world of briar and just oh i want to finish this like loki watch me finish this tonight it's it's gonna be a pain in the ass updating you guys at like 3 a.m but i feel like i could definitely finish this tonight and oh my god it's like because this is the first time that in the book they have like markers here like i was looking at it like here it's like december i don't know if it really focused on it but it's like december it's like february three weeks later and stuff like that so i'm like okay their time jumps like what happened and also like we like we do know that there's like an accidental pregnancy and i'm like the way that the book was like summarized in the back i thought okay this would happen like from their first hookup but i'm almost like halfway through and it hasn't happened yet so i don't know when this turning point is gonna be and i like that's my thing i don't know if i'm going to like it because like you know i don't find that super like wild like other people so i'll see how like how i like this trope and it's like it kind of pisses me off that it's not coming because i do want to know if i like this trope or not so yeah super happy super excited to continue and very curious on when this trope is gonna come okay so we are we are 60 percent through and the goal i don't know um is it dark i feel like it's kind of dark but we're 60 percent through the goal and finally like sabrina started having the morning sickness and then it was actually tucker who put all the signs together and he was like wait are you pregnant like it wasn't sabrina who realized it was 
I was about to say Jean. It was Tucker who realized it. And then we just got to the part where Sabrina just had decided to tell her friends. And then when Tuck decided to tell his friends, Dean like was not having it at all. And I don't know if you guys remember, but basically book three finished off like Tucker basically barging in and telling everyone like, dude, I'm having a kid. But we don't really see everyone's reaction. So like 50% through, this jumps to where book three finished off. So we see everyone's reaction. Dean obviously he's like he's not he's he's just pissed off like i wouldn't say pissed off but he's not like he's not like accept as accepting as like logan and garrett so that's where i'm at right now they were like planning for their future once college finishes tucker didn't want to go back to texas but he's like you know what it's like yeah i might have to be roommates with this guy who i really do not like but I'm doing it for Sabrina. You know, he's like super supportive, super, super sweet. We absolutely love that. That's the thing. It's so good. But it just, it just, it doesn't live up to the other books. I don't know if it's like the like pregnancy thing or if it's because it's like the fourth book. And like Al Kennedy didn't really want to repeat the same thing. Like again, I don't really know. But it's like, it's giving me very 4.25 star energy. Not higher than that, which is disappointing because like book one and book three were like five star book two i'm pretty sure it was like 4.75 but this is giving me like it's not even a 4.5 energy and it pisses me off i don't know what's gonna happen in like the last 40 percent of the book but we shall see hopefully it comes at least a 4.5 because it's like i feel bad giving this book like under 4.5 well this books from this series under 4.5 stars because they're so freaking good but yeah we're gonna read the last 40 percent and we shall see if this is actually a 4.25 or it can redeem itself and go back up to 4.5 okay we're focused um let's chat about the goal so i'm done reading it and i don't know it's like it was good like don't get me wrong it was good i'll take this out of my ears but it wasn't like i don't know it wasn't like the five star quality that i remember like from other books from this series you know so that was kind of like really disappointing um i don't know if it's like other people who kind of feel the same way like me but i don't know oh this by the way was like the last point that i updated you guys um on like what happened but basically we found out that sabrina was having a daughter a daughter <laughs> I, I don't know why i blanked and i remember this is like really funny line when uh tucker was like oh she's like not allowed to have like sex or anything and he was like talking with like he was talking with like an old couple from a date I, i'm pretty sure i told you guys about that like um naked painting date thing so like they ran into a, an old couple like that and then like they run into that couple again and i'm like that's like really cute when i tab i have like a code and i don't know if you guys can see but um the like arrow tabs those are like funny moments then the rectangular tabs are like plot line things or like um quotes that i want to like remember and this was the off-campus book that had the least amount of like the uh quotes that i want to remember tag like cute moments i enjoyed it i read it fast but i mean it's what like four star quality which i don't know it's really really disappointing like it's still good still read it like honestly i feel like sabrina is my favorite I mean, like, the girl who I can relate to the most out of, like, Hannah, Allie, and, like, Grace. I feel like going from how good the score was to how just, like, mediocre, average, like, the goal was, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> my thing is I'm kind of scared to read The Legacy now because so many people, well, I've heard that people are disappointed by The Legacy and it's, like, the off campus was held so high for me like this was still a good book which is like disappointing compared to how much i absolutely adored the score so it's like i want to read the legacy like i i, I want to read like briar you and the legacy because i still love this series so much and fitzy oh my god like fitzy you started seeing more of him in the score and you see even more of him here and they get okay they give a description of fitzy i feel like i probably mentioned this before but it's like they fitzy wow fitzy and it's like, I, I want to read the Brian You series, especially book one, because you have like Summer and Fitzy. But it's like, I'm like kind of nervous that it doesn't live up to like the deal, the mistake, and the score. So I don't know, I'm still, I'm like staring at them on my bookshelf and I'm like, I feel so like conflicted because I'm like, I shouldn't be feeling this way. It's the off-campus series. I absolutely love the off-campus series. But I'm like, I'm conflicted. 
yeah so yeah i'm kind of like disappointed that i can't say more about the goal like read it but just know it's not as good as the score but yeah it's still really good um yes yeah, so i'll catch you guys when i read the first epilogue story in i blanked the legacy i'm sorry my voice is kind of like off um so i went two years doing just fine but i ended up going to a frat party because my sorority got invited to a frat party so i went to this frat party and now bitch has covid so that is fun i can't really look at screens i mean like obviously i'm looking at the camera now it kind of hurts my eyes but like my laptop my phone it hurts my eyes so the only thing that i can do is like basically read but yeah i'm seeing on my mic the audio is like very low so i'm sorry if it's low you can't really hear well but i can't really talk like that loud but anyway i started the legacy the first story is on logan and no yes i was gonna say logan and garrett like low-key yes but like let me elaborate it's on logan and grace and something like super funny like why my brain thought like logan and and uh, garrett because like you know how they both end up playing for the bruins right it's like the boston team um there is this like reporter who makes this like uh who writes this i'm sorry my brain is like so foggy so i don't know if i'm making sense there's a reporter who writes this like news article and he's like oh like let's backtrack so dean and garrett are no logan and garrett are in san jose i want to say um they're at the bar of the hotel there's this girl who passes by she sees them she recognizes them as like the hockey players she leaves the guys don't think anything of it continue their conversation logan talks about how he wants to th like how, how he thinks that he's thinking about proposing to grace i'm sorry these next two clips are going to be an absolute mess how he wants to propose to grace and they're like chatting about it then they go upstairs they go their separate ways and logan he gets to his room and he's like the lights are off but i remember leaving the lights on so he's like very confused and he sees like a naked like pug bunny waiting for him in his bed he's like yeah no like we're not doing this so he goes to stay in garrett's room but like the media hears and they're like oh was it actually like a pug bunny like incident or are these two hooking up and had they been hooking up since college because they went to college together so it was like very 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 funny um they also mention this i don't remember because i read the mistake a while ago and i didn't like vlog in this video so i don't have the clip but no no, no not the mistake um the the score i don't remember this which is weird because i read the score like very recently like literally a week ago max from when i'm filming this i finished the score like a week ago um but they mentioned like how i mean I, I don't know if i talked about this i'm sorry if i'm rambling if it doesn't make sense i'm trying my best it's like the covid brain um so tucker was like okay like there's a competition for who becomes like the godfather godfather between like dean logan and uh, garrett and he had these like little like tests you could say one was like i'm pretty sure it's like the comfort one when, when they bought like a stuffed animal and dean i'm pretty sure it's dean i want to say it's dean bought this like weird like creepy dog called alexander and they like send it to each other as like a joke to like scare the other person um why am i telling you this again but yeah they mentioned that that was in that book and they also bring up winston um yeah let me see if there's any cute moments not really as i said it was mainly like funny moments but yeah that like i feel like i can understand now why people are like disappointed because they wanted like everyone they wanted to see everyone together but then also you know like not everyone is going to be together all the time because it's like after college it's their like regular lives right um yeah so memories from the frat party <laughs> that gave me covid um i just did not have the energy to take it off so it's been on my arm for the past like four days but yeah i can see why people are like annoyed because it's not i feel like it just got so bright because it's not it's like everyone together but also it's like it's understandable because it's after college but yeah so i finished logan and grace's story i'm reading dean and ali's i feel like since i'm in bed for the entire day might as well update you guys after like every single story apparently vitamin c i don't know if you can see what what i'm pointing to vitamin c is really good for if you have covid so i'm having like a like tropical fruit smoothie my vitamin c 
um yeah and we're gonna we're gonna battle the socks i have two midterms and i should not be reading i should be studying but my but i cannot look at screen and my head hurts when like i try to think properly as you can see my brain isn't working properly let's ignore the hair um i'm still in bed because i have covid so it's not that i expect a lot out of this but i read the second the second like novella story epilogue story in the legacy called the proposal which is about Stephen and ali and i don't know it's like i feel like this was kind of it's weird because like yeah this is supposed to be for dean and ali but you still talk about but you still talk about tuck and uh, sabrina's wedding and you still talk about it's like hannah finding out that she's like pregnant and i'm like i don't know it just felt odd that we found that information like in the story for ali and dean also ali and dean's story i don't know it's like grace and logan's story i liked it like i generally enjoyed it but like dean and ali's it's like not really much happened so i don't know i don't know if the other stories are going to be better that's all fine it kind of like spoils it because at the back it's like oh you have this like a wedding a proposal an elopement and a surprise pregnancy can you guess which couple is which but in dean and ali's story you find out like who has what situation so i don't know i feel like kind of like spoil it like it was okay i'm really trying to talk if i that my voice gets worse i probably won't update for the other stories until i'm like through the covid but um yeah i don't know it's like this story disappointed me next one is the honeymoon which is for tucker and sabrina i'm about to read it right now just wanted to update you guys for the proposal then i feel like depending on how my voice is i might read hannah and garrett's story also called the legacy uh before updating you guys for both we'll see how my voice is but i'm gonna like conserve my energy probably drink a tea and try to update you guys when i finish because i'm gonna finish in like i'd say give me like two hours max and i'm gonna finish i'll give you an update because i yeah then and i'm probably not gonna film anymore because i should not be talking so yeah i'll talk to you guys when i'm done reading telecacy i'm trying to move my mic closer to my mouth so like when i talk you guys can actually hear heard because i can't talk super loud but i just finished um the honeymoon the story about Tucker sabrina honestly it was my favorite so far like so much happened it's actually really really interesting um it started off with like <coughs> oh my god but like Tucker and sabrina almost dying in like a plane crash I mean, like, not exactly a plane crash, but there was, like, a malfunction. And they low-key almost died. Then Sabrina gets, like, knocked in the head with... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Tug gets stung by a jellyfish. Almost has some, like, random man pee on him. Oh, you guys can see my phone. That has my mic. Um, Sabrina gets hit in the head by a coconut and has, like, a mini... I mean, like, not exactly concussion, but, like, you know, she's, like, knocked out. And then Tucker ends up going to jail. Like... It was the most entertaining, but honestly, I can see why people were disappointed because, like, I feel like seeing on how good the books in the series were, I would have expected more from the epilogue novel. Did I enjoy it? Yes. But I feel like it wasn't needed because this, I'm going to rate it what, like, honestly, this is like a 3.5 star. Like, I might rate it 4 stars just because I love these characters so much. But, like, you know, like, I can understand everyone's point of view now. But honestly, I took it to bring a story I liked it the best. I just started, um, <coughs> I just started Hannah and Garrett's story, The Legacy. I'm like two chapters, in, but I still wanted to update you guys because my headache is kind of coming back. So I'm like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put off, um, Tucker Sabrina's story to like tell it to you guys later and after forget about it because of like the COVID brain. So yeah, I'm like three chapters into The Legacy it's good but it's like you know like knowing how good the actual books were kind of disappointing but i'm still gonna um like finish reading it i'm probably gonna finish it tonight don't know if i'll update you guys tonight or not depending on when the fever comes back but yeah i'm feeling very like it sucks but honestly 3.75 to four star energy just because i love these characters so much you know so yeah, I'll finish reading and I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully my voice will be a little more back because I FaceTime with my friend who also tested positive because of like the same party. So that really like took a toll on my voice. 
But yeah, um, if I have voice later on, I'll update you guys. If not, I'll just update you guys tomorrow. Okay, ciao. Hello. So I, yeah, I finished the legacy, um, like the book and also like Garen and Hannah's story. Like, okay, again, Gana's story. Hannah and Garrett's story, it mainly revolves around, like, Hannah wanting to tell Garrett about the pregnancy, but she's like, okay, this happened, but then this happened, and then this happened, so it's like, it's never, like, a right time, and it's like, yeah, I can understand you, but it's like, girl, like, let him know, you know, like, it was, like, two months that she hasn't told him, and I'm like, girl, like, you should let him know, but one thing that I really, really liked about it is that you find, okay, so, like, the legacy, basically, um, like why the their like um novella epilogue thing is called the legacy is because like you know you know how garrett plays for like boston and like pro hockey um there is like a channel thing that wants to do this like this like um documentary type thing called the legacy on garrett's father and him and like how having his dad being like a hockey legend made him like the next possible like hockey legend right and that show is called the legacy so you have phil who like um plays like a pretty decent role in this story and you find out that like garrett when he finds out that um this is like an offer he's like yeah no there's no i'm gonna do anything with my dad but phil like agreed for both of them so he's like super pissed off not in a good mood and he's like okay like i'd rather like put up with my dad then like expose him for everything that happened because it's like embarrassing like i don't want the public to know about this but at the end i am so so proud of him and so so i mean it's as if it's like an actual person it's not i'm just so happy and proud of him that he's like you know what fuck it like who cares what other people think it's time to like expose phil for what he did and i'm like we love that we absolutely love that um their story i did enjoy like i was like I was satisfied. I was like, this is a happy way to end it. Because, like, you start off this whole series finding out about, like, how abusive and horrible Garrett's that was. And, like, the end, it's like, yeah, no, this this man, we're exposing him for everything. He's, like, trying to gain fame or, like, be back in the public eye with Garrett. But it's like, uh-uh, bitch, no more. You can't do that no more. We're done with that. Um, As you can see, the COVID is going so much better today. <laughs> I, like, don't have my headache anymore. I can kind of talk. I just had to do a midterm because apparently having COVID isn't even a valid reason for, like, not doing your midterm. But, yeah, so we're doing better. Um, what would I, what would I give the legacy? I feel like going into it, I expect, like, 4.5, right? Halfway through, I was, like, maybe a 3.75, but I think it's, like, four stars. In the order of, like, preference for people's stories, I'd say you have, um, Grace and Logan. So, The Pact. After that, you'd have The Honeymoon, which is Sabrina and Tucker, then The Legacy, Hannah and Garrett, and then at the end, um, The Proposal, is that what it's called? Um, yeah, The Proposal, Allie and Dean, which kind of sucks because, like, because Hannah and Garrett and Allie and Dean are my two favorite couples, right? But they were, like, the two lowest ranked stories in this, so... I don't know, I feel like I expected more out of this, like, I can honestly really understand why people are pissed off, but yeah, so that concludes this little, like, reading vlog type thing, I finally finished the off-campus series, I felt like I had, like, a massive cough coming, but yeah, um, finished the off-campus series, I actually really enjoy this, because you could, like, see, especially for the score, you saw my, like, excitement, and my, like, oh my god, like, I love this so much, and then my, it's kind of sucks, but you did see, like, my disappointments in the goal and the legacy, but I like this, I feel like I want to do more vlogs like this, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna start reading, uh, the Brea You series, so hopefully that, like, reading vlog type thing will be coming soon, and also, um, once I finish the legacy, I wanted something quick, something fast, um, and I started reading Bound by Honor. This is, like, a seven-book series, so I'm, like, I don't know, like, we'll see if I want to do something with that, but that's gonna conclude this video, because I feel like I really should stop talking, because, like, as the video goes on, my voice just comes down, 
so yeah i hope you enjoyed you have all of my socials oh my god linked down below I, can you see that i'm struggling struggling all my socials are linked down below so definitely hit me with a follow subscribe if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up <laughs> oh my god stay safe protect your vibe don't share drinks with people at frat parties, and I'll see y'all next time.